Hello, Freep Dad here, and welcome to another Freep Guide for Animal Crossing New Leaf. Thank you so much for the great response and feedback on the previous ones. I really appreciate it. I've gotten a lot of requests for this one, so here's the Freep Guide for Hybrid Flowers. As you may know already, in your Animal Crossing New Leaf village, you can grow flowers. There will be flowers in your town automatically, and new flowers may appear randomly. Also, your villagers might plant new flowers every now and then, and you can also buy flowers from the gardening store. And if you build a police station, you might also find flower seeds in a lost and found. By planting flowers of the same type next to each other, you might find new colors of flowers next to them the next day. These unusually colored flowers are called hybrid flowers. Following are the flowers you are able to breed into hybrids. Roses, tulips, pansies, cosmos, lilies, violets, and carnations. There are however some flowers you are not able to breed, such as Jacob's Ladder, Dandelion, and Dandelion Puff. Before you get started, it's recommended that you change your town ordinance into Beautiful Town. To make a hybrid flower grow, you have to put two flowers of the same variety, such as two roses or two cosmos, next to each other. There's a small chance that a new flower of that type will appear next to them. A new flower can only appear if there are empty spaces next to the pair of flowers. The new flower might be a unique color that can't be purchased in a garden shop and can't randomly appear in your town. Now the placement of your flowers to maximize daily hybrid chances is the key to success. It's possible to breed flowers by having them in straight rows, but it's not recommended. The best option is to have your flowers touch diagonally, like this. There are several ways you can arrange your flowers, but the best arrangement looks like this. And in the middle, you should bury a fertilizer which increases the chance of getting hybrid flowers. It's even better if you bury it with a golden shovel, which makes the fertilizer more effective. Fertilizer can be bought from the gardening store at TNT Emporium, which I explain how to unlock in the Maiden Street Freep Guide. I also explain how to get the gold shovel in the Gold Tools Freep Guide. There's a certain limit to how many hybrids you can get each day, but it's possible to increase the limit. Using fertilizer adds one possible hybrid slot per day. And if you bury it with a golden shovel, that also adds another hybrid slot. So that's three hybrids you can get each day if you only have the beautiful town ordinance. You get four hybrids per day if you use fertilizer and have the beautiful town ordinance. And you get five hybrids per day if you use fertilizer buried with a golden shovel and you have the beautiful town ordinance. Now let's take a look at all the different hybrid flowers you can get. Roses. Let's start with the roses, since they are the most complex species. Two red roses makes pink and black roses. It also makes a red rose, but I won't be mentioning the ordinary colored flowers that are created. I'll still be showing them though, in case you want to know them. A red rose and white rose also makes a pink rose. A red rose and yellow rose makes an orange rose. And two white roses makes a purple rose. Now for the blue rose, which is the most complicated rose to get. Before you can start breeding a blue rose, you will need a red rose that has either a purple or orange parent. There are three different combinations you can use here. Either orange and white, orange and purple, or red and purple. Either of these combinations create a hybrid red rose, which looks identical to an ordinary red rose, so let's just mark it with a star to make it clearer. After you get a hybrid red rose, you are ready to breed a blue rose. And this time there are two combinations to breed a blue rose. You can use two hybrid red roses together, or an orange rose and a hybrid red rose to breed a blue rose. Last up for roses is the gold rose, which you create by watering a wilted black rose with a golden watering can, and the next day it will turn into a gold rose. If you wonder how to get a golden watering can, you need a perfect town, which I explain how to get in the perfect town freep guide. Tulips. Red and white tulips makes a pink tulip. Red and yellow tulips makes an orange tulip. Two red tulips makes a black tulip. And two orange tulips makes a purple tulip. Pansies. Red pansy and yellow pansy makes an orange pansy. Two white pansies makes a blue pansy. Now, to make a purple pansy, we first need to breed a blue and orange pansy to make a hybrid orange pansy. Next, you breed two hybrid orange pansies and then you will get a purple pansy. Cosmos. 
red and white Cosmo makes pink Cosmo. Red and yellow Cosmo makes orange Cosmo. And two orange Cosmos makes a black Cosmo. Lilies. Red and white lilies makes a pink lily. Red and yellow lilies makes an orange lily. Two red lilies makes a black lily. Violets. There's only one hybrid color for violets, and that is the blue violet. You can breed it with three different combinations, which are purple and white violet, purple and yellow violet, and two purple violets. Bada boom! Carnations. Once again, there's only one type of hybrid color for carnations, which is white. By breeding red and pink carnations, you get the white carnations. And if you wonder how to get a carnation, you get a pink carnation from your mother on Mother's Day, and you get a red carnation from your father on Father's Day. And that's it for the hybrid flowers. Now before I end the video, here's a useful tip. Grow your hybrids on the beach. First of all, there's a lot of space on the beach to grow your flowers. And second of all, you won't be risking villagers moving into your town and putting their house on top of your flowers and destroying them. And just like that, we are done here. Hey, if you liked the video, be sure to hit that subscribe button for more animations and freep guides. And you can also follow me on Twitter, at freepdide. And click here to go to the full playlist of all the freep guides made so far. Again, thanks for watching, and I wish you the best of luck in getting those great looking flowers to spice up your town. Peace out.